Good afternoon, and thank you for joining me today for a very important announcement that I know you've all been waiting for, the introduction of the 13th president of Mercyhurst University. First though, I need to thank my fellow trustees, our presidential search committee led by trustees Steve Fiedler and Scott Kern, and all those in the Mercyhurst community who played such an important part in making this exemplary choice. Can't imagine a better person to lead this place we all love so much at this important time in our history. As COVID restrictions ease and we can come together more naturally this summer, we'll host a welcome event and celebrate our new leader in grand style. And now, without further delay, let me introduce Dr. Kathleen Getz. Dr. Getz is a mission-driven servant leader with 18 years senior experience in major business schools, including 10 years at prominent Catholic universities. Since 2015, she has served as the Dean of the Selinger School of Business and Management at Loyola University, Maryland, a Jesuit Catholic institution whose business school is home to nearly 2,000 students, 55 full-time faculty, and 13 full-time staff. From 2011 to 14, she was Dean of the Quinlan School of Business at Loyola University, Chicago, one of the largest Catholic universities in the United States. She also served as Senior Associate Dean for Academic Affairs at the Kogod School of Business at American University. Dr. Goetz is the recipient of many awards, not the least of which is being named one of Maryland's top 100 women for 2018. We can all plainly see that her credentials are outstanding, which is why, among other reasons, she was chosen for this role. I do think, though, that it's particularly fortuitous that a woman assumes this role as we move toward our centennial and celebrate the Sisters of Mercy, how they founded and led this university starting in 1926, and how they continue to inspire our mission today. This marks the first time a woman has led Mercyhurst in nearly 50 years, since the 63 to 72 tenure of Sister Carolyn Herman, who was preceded in that role by six Sisters of Mercy, starting with Mother Borgia Egan. Although Dr. Getz's career has been spent well beyond our gates, she's no stranger to Erie. She's quite familiar with our community, where she and her husband Gary lived for several years. In fact, she worked as an assistant manager and retail lending officer at Mellon Bank from 1981 to 1986. She was also a member of the St. Patrick Parish Choir and volunteered at St. Pat's Homeless Shelter from 1989 to 90. It's now my deepest honor and definitely a thrill to introduce the 13th president of Mercyhurst University, Dr. Kathleen Getz. Thank you for that gracious introduction, President Nicastro, and hello, Mercyhurst community. As President Nicastro said, my name is Kathy Getz, and I'm honored to have been selected as the 13th president of Mercyhurst University. I am grateful to President Nicastro, to the trustees, the search committee, the Sisters of Mercy, and the many faculty, staff, students, and alumni who participated in the search process. Your compassionate hospitality was so welcoming, and our conversations helped me to better understand Mercyhurst culture. As President Nicastro mentioned, I have worked previously at Loyola University of Maryland, Loyola University of Chicago, and the American University. I'm so grateful to each of those universities, and particularly to my mentors and colleagues at Loyola Maryland for having given me so many opportunities to learn and to grow. As I have reflected on my vocation as an academic leader, I felt called to consider whether, as a president, I might have a greater impact in guiding the university through today's turbulent higher education environment to a path of growth and prosperity. Two things initially drew me to Mercyhurst. First, my husband Gary and I spent the first nine years of our marriage living in Erie. I worked at Mellon Bank, originally Union Bank, and my hus husband worked at what was then Mallinckrodt. We both earned our master's degrees from Gannon University, mine an MBA, and his an MS in engineering. We left Erie after I completed my doctoral studies at the University of Pittsburgh. Second, I was struck by the consonance of my own values with those of Mercyhurst. Leading a group of people with whom I share certain core values to transform the lives of individual students and to help our community seems to me to be opportunity of a lifetime. Now, as I think about the work we have to do at Mercyhurst over the next several years, 
I see several challenges that we will address together by calling on both long-standing and recently developed strengths. We will partner across disciplines and divisions within the university, and we will partner with government, businesses, the diocese, nonprofits, and marginalized groups to help our community build prosperity and justice. I can't wait to meet you this summer, and I'm looking forward to working with you to lead Mercyhurst into her second century. Carpe diem, and I'll see you in July.